Hello, hello, uh, Punk Rockin' here again. And this time I'm going to show you how to add custom music to your RetroPie. Um, the music will play while you're scrolling through your games. With this setup, the music will start when your RetroPie boots up. It'll stop when you enter a game. And then it'll pick back up again uh, when you're back in the menu uh, cruising for your next game. Seriously, my favorite thing I've added to my RetroPie setup uh, so far so cool when you're showing it off and you have some 8-bit music bouncing in the background or maybe some gangster rap uh, whatever your flavor it don't matter you can choose man bounce some techno play some country whatever man um, I just want to thank uh, Cynic who originally figured this out on the official RetroPie boards and I also want to thank uh, MapleStory PSN on RetroPie's Reddit who wrote an awesome article off of what Synac did on how to do this. Um, I had to piece a little bit together, but not at all. You made my job easy as hell. I'm just copying you guys. Thanks again. I appreciate it. This fucking rocks. You guys are awesome. Um, some quick things before we get started I just thought I'd mention. Sometimes the music you choose can be louder or softer depending on what kind of quality it is. Um, the music does loop though, so you can put down one track or many and it'll continue to play. Um, the last thing is the order in which you put the music is random as hell, uh, which I find pretty cool anyway. It mixes things up. I screwed around with the order and names uh, and tested it out to see if I could get it to work and it didn't. That's 100% uh, okay with me though. I will talk about about a few ways you can mess with the volume and order after the video if you really want it just right. It'll just take, uh, take some additional software and some time on your part. I'm not going to show you how to do it, but I'll just mention what I use and all that. Uh, Alright, uh, let's just go through what you need right quick uh, and then we'll uh, hop to the video. You will need a RetroPie install and updated, a controller, a keyboard, your RetroPie connected to the internet and on the same network as your computer, Wi-Fi or Ethernet, your choice. The software we will need is WinSCP. Um, you can download that on the interwebs. So I am doing this video uh, from the TV perspective. You can do all these commands uh, using PuTTY, a uh, piece of software on your computer, but I'm going to assume that most people will be typing this on their TV. Basically, we're going to go ahead and create a folder on the RetroPie so we can drop our music in there, and then we're going to go ahead and tell the RetroPie how to deal uh, with said music. Um, one last disclaimer before we begin. You really have to pay attention to every step while doing this. One mistype letter or number, a capital where it should be lowercase, and this will not work. It's kind of a process, but it's totally worth it. I never pay attention to shit, and I like to skip ahead, so it took me uh, forever to figure this out where I messed up. Uh, hopefully I made the error so you don't have to. Just stick with me, man or woman. We're going in. We're going in, man. Uh, but yeah, with all that out of the way, let's hop over uh, to the TV here quick. All right, here we are at the TV here, and uh, before we get going, 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 I'm just going to show you a quick preview of what the final product is so you know what you're getting yourself into. Okay, so that's the uh, final product there. Let's so let's go ahead and get started on this beast. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, I'm gonna show you how to enable SSH um, so we can use WinSCP to connect 
to the Pi. I uh, show you how to do that in another video, but I figured I'd uh, include every step here. So let's go ahead and uh, get that out of the way uh, first. Okay, so I am using another image, so it looks different, I know. But the first thing we are going to need to do when we get here, when your RetroPie is on and up, is hit the F4 key to get to the command prompt. Um, what we are doing again is turning on SSH, Secure Socket Shell, so when we connect to your RetroPie later on in the video from your computer using WinSCP, it will allow us to do so. This only needs to be done once, and if you've already done this, go ahead and skip ahead. I'll see you on the other side. Uh, so once we're at the command prompt, we need to type in um, sudo law lowercase sudo space raspy dash config so go ahead and uh, type that in and hit enter on your keyboard and that is going to take you to this next screen here once we are on this screen you want to go down go down to option number five uh, interfacing options then when we get to the next screen we're going to select the second option enable disable remote command line access to your Pi using ssh hit enter on this now we are just gonna go ahead and hit enter a couple times and that'll bring us back to this main screen here when you're done just go down uh, to the bottom and uh, go to finish if it asks you to reboot instead of going to the command prompt go ahead and select yes because we're gonna do that anyway otherwise type in sudo reboot if it didn't ask you that and uh, let this beast reboot that is all there is to it for uh, turning on uh, this thingamajig, SSH. Um, now we're going to go ahead and get into the meat of this thing. Uh, once this thing gets back up to the main menu, go ahead and type in the F4 key, and uh, we'll go ahead and begin typing. Yeah. All right. Again, I'm using another image, so ignore the different look here. So let's hit F4 when our RetroPie is up or gets back up. And that will bring us to the command line here. The first thing we are going to do is type in all lowercase sudo space apt dash get space install space mpg123. This is going to install with the um, basically the music player. Go ahead and hit enter. Some stuff is going to quickly install here. And then it's going to ask you if you want to continue and simply type in the letter Y and then go ahead and hit enter some more stuff will uh, quickly install here fun stuff so uh, next we're gonna type in sudo space nano space forward slash opt forward slash retropie forward slash configs forward slash all forward slash auto start dot sh once you have all that uh, typed in go ahead and hit enter the next thing we're gonna type in I'm going to have up on the screen for a bit and I'm explaining a couple of, of gotchas or things that I ran into or whatever. Um, the first thing we need to do is make a line break above emulation station pound auto hashtag auto whatever the hell. So hit enter and then pop up to the line above here and then type, uh, start typing out this thing. I would also do it in two lines like this. And notice how some are green and some are white. Make sure yours are like that as well. It'll do it automatically unless you type in the incorrect character. Um, the only thing I would pay especially special attention to is the dash Z after MPG123. That is actually a capital Z. If you put a lowercase Z, it'll still work, but the music uh, will not loop. Um, the last thing to notice is the number after sleep. It's 10 right now. That is how long the music takes to kick in on startup. 
You can mess with that number. It's in seconds, um, I think, and it'll delay the music more. I screwed with it. It's To me, it's in seconds, but I didn't mess with it too much. Um, why you might need this is you have a splash screen that takes a while or, I don't know, some other reasons. But, yeah, go ahead and uh, screw with that if you want to. Once you feel you have that thing typed in uh, good in, in whatever, good to go, hit Control and the letter O at the same time, and then hit the Enter key. This saves it. Then hit Control x That's to quit back up to the command line. couple things before we go on. If you need to come back in here to double-check your work, make sure it was saved, uh, make sure it's correct or whatever, you got to edit it. This goes for any of the commands uh, we'll be doing. You can simply just retype the command in again to get back here. Example for this, you would type in again, thing on the fucking screen because I'm lazy and didn't want to read it all again. Um, so you would type that in. And then also when I say retype, you really don't have to retype the whole thing. You can hit up the up arrow key or the down arrow key and that'll scroll through the commands you have already entered so you can use this as a as a shortcut so you can use all these little cool trip tips and tricks and shortcuts to get onto the uh you know get a move your way around or whatever but uh anyway on to the next thing all right now we're gonna want to type in uh sudo space nano forward slash opt forward slash retro pie forward slash can fix forward slash all forward slash run command dash on start dot sh it's on the screen i figured i'd say it anyway that'll take us to a blank screen now we need to type in p kill space dash s t o p all uppercase mpg one two three type that in hit control o at the same time and enter key to save then hit control x at the same time and hit the enter key to get back to the command prompt again. All right. Now we are going to uh, go ahead and type in sudo space nano forward slash opt forward slash retropy forward slash configs forward slash all forward slash run command dot o n e n d dot s h. Hit enter again. Now we're at this second Blake screen. Now we're going to need to type in p kill space dash c o n t space m p g one two three go ahead and type that in there we're going to hit control uh, o and enter and then control x and enter to exit all right we are almost done i know this take forever keep keep with me man it's almost over i swear to god we're almost there all right now we need to type in this ridiculous command here I'm not even going to say it. You guys can just read it on the screen. It's pretty self-explanatory. Chi mod. That's what I like to call it. Um, when we're done with this command, all we want to do is hit the uh, enter key. It, this is just running the command, actually. Then we're going to go ahead and type in this next command here. Same kind of thing, but we're just running, uh, processing the other one we did. Chi mod. Go ahead and type all that in there. And then go ahead and hit the uh, enter key again on this command. All right, two commands to go. Um, the next one we are going to do is we are going to type in sudo space nano forward space forward slash home forward slash pi forward slash period or dot b a s h r c bash r c. That is going to bring us into a wall of text. Um, on this next screen, we're going to hit the down arrow key and we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. We want to scroll all the way down until we see retropy underscore welcome. And underneath that is uh, hashtag retropy profile end in all caps. What we need to do here is we need to make a space between these two guys and we are going to type in this ridiculous command here. All right, on this one, I am also going to have this command up for a bit and just talk about it, a couple of gotchas, uh, because this is another really important one. They're all pretty important. I mean, they all need to be in here to run, but this one just screwed me up. First thing I'll mention is the part where it says forward slash dev forward slash TTYL. 
it's actually a number one. Looks like TTYL, but it's actually a number one, so make sure you do that. Also, on my keyboard, the parentheses, or I don't know what the fuck those things are called, those dash marks or quote marks, uh, that's actually the shift key and the number two at the same time. The same for both of them. Just thought I would mention that. Maybe it's the right one on your keyboard, but it's not on mine. Lastly, there are no double spaces in this at all. There should only be a single space where you see spaces. Once you're done with this, go ahead and hit Control O and Enter and Control X Enter to uh, get out of here. All right, we are at our last command here, and it's short and sweet. All we need to type in here is mkdir mkdir uh, space forward slash home forward slash pi forward slash bgm. Go ahead and type in that. Hit enter, and we are out of this motherfucker. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we are done with this shit, though. We're done with this garbage. Um, now all we need to do is type in sudo space reboot. That's going to go ahead and uh, reboot this thing. And uh, I'll meet you over at the computer so we can connect and uh, drop in the music. All right. So here we are on the computer. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up WinSCP. Uh, it should look like this right here. So let's uh, fill this shit in. Um, first thing we're going to do is type in the name of our RetroPie or the IP address of our RetroPie. If you haven't changed the name of your RetroPie, then it's, then it's RetroPie by default. So go ahead and try that at first. If you want to know what your RetroPie's IP address is, then I'll tell you how to get it here quick. I'm not going to show you. Otherwise, check out this video here, and it'll show you how to find the name and the many different ways to find your IP address if for some reason uh, you're not able to find it um, or get it figured out this way. Should hopefully have you covered, though. On a Windows computer, just go ahead and quick go to the Start button uh, or the Start area and type in uh, CMD. That'll bring up a box, and you want to type in PING space RetroPie. That should uh, come down with a reply and an IP address. That's your IP address for your RetroPie. That also tells you that your computer is on the same network as your RetroPie. That means you're going to be able to copy your music over. So if that is not working, if you get no reply, then you're not going to be able to uh, copy over your music. Make sure they're on the same network. Go ahead and fix that, and then uh, come back here. Uh, sorry, I'm a completionist. Just wanted to make sure you guys are covered out there. Um, but yeah, go ahead and pop in the name or IP here. The username is going to be PI, PI, all lowercase. And the password is going to be Raspberry, all lowercase. So go ahead and type all that in, and then hit login. When you log in for the first time, you're going to see this. Just go ahead and hit update. Then, finally, holy crap, that took forever. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend anybody. We are here. Simply drag and drop your music into the BGM folder here. Let it copy over. Disconnect. Go back over to your RetroPie and reboot. And when that puppy comes back up, you should have those sweet, tunes of playing all right so hopefully when you reboot your retro pie um you're hearing music blasting through your speakers before i get out of your face i figured i would mention uh, just a couple other things in case you ran into any issues i know i'm probably being long-winded but i made these videos with the average i hate computers people in mind there's already a ton of videos out there for the techs and geeks so I figured I'd give it a try and try to cover this area, not to insult your intelligence. Um, I'm good with computers, but I can't or don't want to do anything to do with a car. I've never even changed a stupid tire before. But uh, anyway, this is more fun than that, and everybody should be able to make one of these things, is my belief. Enough with the heart to heart. If you didn't run into any issues, though, then just go ahead and ignore me. Turn this off. Delete your computer. No, no, just, I'm just kidding. But uh, because this next part is just common mistakes uh, that I see, and uh, I figured you could double check. 
Um, again, make sure that you typed in everything correctly. You can go back into the command prompt again by hitting F4 and then hit the up or down arrow to scroll through all the commands you've already typed. Um, you don't have to type them in again, but you can. Uh, check all the initial commands first and make sure those are typed in correctly. Um, remember how we typed in the command, then we hit enter. That brought us to a blank screen. We typed in another one, and then we saved those with Control X and Control O. You can go back into those and check the initial command and make sure that what you typed in there is correct. Um, and then go ahead and save it again or exit out. Now, if you find you made a mistake on the initial command, instead of seeing the text you typed in the next step, you will actually see another blank screen. Um, here's a quick example. Let's say I type in this command here. I hit the enter key and that brings me to a blank screen and then I type this next one in. If I change one letter in this going back to the first command here, it'll bring me to a different blank screen. So if this is the case, make sure you go back to the mistyped one, hit enter, then delete all that text, then save because it'll be saving on blank then go back to the you know the correct one and type in the next thing otherwise you'll have some garbage commands in there and uh, that can conflict or whatever now the chmod commands um, we can't go into per se because we ran those but if you feel like you messed up on the chmod commands uh, then just go ahead and type them in again hit the enter key to run them then reboot and see if the music plays. I've ran these commands on purpose mistyped and it will still work if you, uh, the initial time you do it, it's jacked. You can go ahead and type in the right one, hit enter, good to go. Also, uh, when the RetroPie first boots up and the music does not play, go ahead and hit the F4 key and at the top of the screen, look for any errors. It might say some gibberish to you but uh, if you look, it might reference one of the commands we typed, and that should help you narrow it down. Um, just thought I'd mention that. If you compare everything going back and forth and the music is still not working, just for kicks, um, type them in over again just to make sure you did it correctly. Sometimes I go back and forth comparing, and I still miss shit. I don't know why, but I suck when I do that. So... For me to get around that, I just type it in again. And for some reason, it works for me. I just suck. I've never been good at Where's Waldo, man. I can never find that fucker. He's hiding all the time. Another thing you can do um, is you can download Putty. Uh, that connects to your RetroPie through the computer. And you could be doing it from there. That way you can copy and paste it in there. But hey, I did it on TV, uh, so you can too. Um, anyway, but this should 100% work if you did everything correctly. Um, some other quick things. Make sure, again, your file is in MP3 format and it plays on iTunes or Windows Media Player. If you haven't, if you know it's not a working MP3, just check that quickly. Also, just stupid shit. Make sure your volume is up on the RetroPie. You know, play a game. Make sure that works. Just make sure all that is... Uh, uh, working sometimes I forget uh, if some reason none of this works for you and you swear you did everything correctly the last thing I would try is just try a fresh image download and install a fresh copy of RetroPie on your micro SD card and try it again I know that's probably a pain but maybe the one image you're using has some stuff that's conflicting with your shit um, whatever you know it's just worth a try uh, but this should work for you. Uh, well, that is it for all that. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you can't quite get the music volume right, or it's too loud or too soft, or you want the music in the proper order, then the best thing to do is use some editing software and combine all the MP3s and basically save it as a large MP3 file. You can also mess with the volume with this as well. I use Adobe Premiere Elements, which is what I use to make these videos, and it works great. I can create one ultimate mix, just the volume, all that stuff. A couple others, though, Audacity or MP3 Louder, 
Um, there are some other pieces of software that might work, but I have not used them. Google is your friend and lover on this one, man. The last thing uh, really is you can put as much uh, music on your RetroPie as that uh, thing can handle. Put one game on there and have an epic menu soundtrack. Go for it. Good times to be had by all. Anyway, thanks again for sticking with me on this one. I really hope this worked for you. This is seriously such a cool feature, and everyone I show this to is blown away by the music while they're scrolling through the games. Um, let me know if you have any issues in the comments, and I'll do the best uh, I can to help you. Thanks again for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys next time. Thank you.